I became aware of uh, the work going on at the University of Southampton, oh, perhaps 10 years ago, uh, through publications by some of the faculty here, and uh, particularly meeting faculty members at conferences where a number of the faculty here actively participate in the international conferences in this particular area, which are held uh, from time to time. And uh, I made some friendships and uh, became increasingly uh, interested in what was going on here. Well, I've been supporting a number of research projects here at the University of Southampton over the years, and currently we have a project going uh, involving the modeling of complex systems, uh, modeling uncertainty in complex systems, which is um, ongoing and being conducted by a couple, or overseen by two of the professors here, um, and I'm very, very pleased with the progress of this research. Advances in um, computer technology and the internet have allowed the assemblage of data sets that were heretofore unthinkable. Um, back when data sets had to be manually um, assembled, uh, uh, data was a very precious commodity. Uh, you know, the early researches on horse racing involved data sets of only 200 races. Now 200,000 is a common size for a data set, so it's a, it's a whole new world in data-driven research, but the, the effort can still be considerable to assemble these big data sets, and that's sometimes where I think researchers can get lazy, is in not spending, you know, being happy to work on the theoretical side of the problem, but not willing to undertake the sleeves rolled up efforts to assemble these large, rich data sets, and I, I think that's essential. You know, there's nothing like the pleasure of seeing theoretical ideas tested on real-world data and seeing the the world behaving the way it theory says it should. Uh, this is quite a uh, quite a thrill and, and and something that you know I look forward to uh, you know hard work with uh, you know the pen and paper on theory and then the but the the, the 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 culmination of that effort and the real reward comes when one is able to test on a large data set the results of one's theoretical uh, calculations and and find it vindicated. There's a very rich set of things to explore. I mean, in one area is um, public betting behavior. It's, it's still, you know, very much an unknown why it is that the uh, public chooses to value certain types of information more than others, and what errors or patterns or um, anomalies there may be in public betting behavior. I think also the application of um, advanced, more advanced modeling techniques. I mean, statistics with the uh, current availability of advanced computing power, almost unlimited computing power available as it is today at universities like Southampton, that you can undertake statistical techniques and modeling approaches that would have been prohibitively computationally intensive in, in former times. And so there, there's methods and, and you know, approaches that can be used that are really quite exciting.